Dad asked four men to advise his 16-year-old son on how to achieve success and happiness in life. A minister, a farmer, a businessman, and an educator. All four were highly successful in their chosen occupations. All four spoke words based on years of experience and what they believed would help them achieve their goals in life. First to speak was the minister. He observed that the Lord had given everyone special talents, that it was our responsibility to not bury our talents in the sand, but to realize what our talents are and use them to the best of our ability, that if we use them for righteousness' sake, all of our needs would be provided. Second to speak was the educator. He related to the young man that no matter how old you get, you are never too old to learn that an idle mind was indeed the devil's workshop, that if the mind was not being occupied with responsible thought, it would be occupied with idle and non-rewarding thought, thoughts that would encourage the same type of behavior in our daily lives. The company president spoke third. In his words, he noted that to achieve any success, one must take the first step in that direction. For most people, that first step is to get a job that there is no shame in any job one should avail themselves to. The only shame was in not getting a job at all. For in work, man will find himself and the value he has in this world. He also noted that no matter how powerful you become, always approach controversy from a humble standpoint, pulling rank only when all else has failed. Last to speak was the farmer. He shared with the young man the following. The longer I work the land, plant the seed, and cultivate the crops, the more I realize just how little in control we are. That it is really a power far greater than man that truly gives the increase. And when I feel I have reached the limits of all I can do, I turn to the Bible and prayer. There I find not only comfort and hope, I also find directions of how I should live my life all the days of my life. I encourage you, young man, to do the same. These words were spoken from these men's heart, and as they spoke, it astonished me how similar their comments were. It became clear that all four credited much of their success to the same factors, a belief in God, a strong commitment to family, and strong work ethics. All also noted that living in a country where they had the freedom and opportunity to pursue their goals was a tremendous asset. Faith, family, country, service. Four words that these men built their careers around. Four words that you young graduates should consider while you build yours. I congratulate each of you for graduating from Holmes County High School. It is a great accomplishment, one you have worked long and hard for. You should be proud of this accomplishment. It will serve you the rest of your life. From this night, may you go forth and prosper, finding in life the peace and joy that surpasses all understanding. I thank you.